hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on C programming for beginners and in the last video I have shown you what is a function and how we can call function from our main uh, function right and how we can declare a simple function like this okay now in this video I'm going to show you how to declare and use a function which takes parameters or arguments so suppose we want to uh, make a function which adds two values and prints uh, the sum okay so what we are going to do is here we will declare a function which returns nothing so we will write void and then the name of the function you can name it as a sum or add whatever you find appropriate for your program okay I will name it as sum and now because we want to pass uh, two numbers which we can sum we will pass them as an argument for for a function so how to pass an argument in these two brackets these two brackets we will give int the type of the argument first and then we will give the name of the argument for example a and in a similar way we can pass the second argument int b and you can pass any number of argument in the function for example int c int d and so on but right now we want to just add two numbers so we will pass only two arguments right and then we will just give two curly braces here not this one but this one and now what we want to do from this function we want to add these two functions and pass it into other variable for example uh, we will name it as sum which will hold the sum of our two argument which is a and b so we will just do a plus b and now we want to print the sum so we will just write print f and inside this we will just write sum is equal to percentage d comma sum okay and now oh, and whenever you want to add these two numbers you can just call the sum function inside your main function here so just call it and uh, for example you want to add two numbers for example you want to add 50 and 60 so we will just write 50 comma 60 because this sum function takes two arguments one is a and one is b so you can pass 50 as a and 60 as b here right and what will this will do so this sum function will replace a by 50 and b by 60 and then in here this a plus b will be 50 plus 60 and it will transfer the sum to this sum variable and then this sum will be printed here so let's uh, try to run the program first and it prints 110 which is true in a similar way you can uh, call this function multiple times for example you want to uh, get the sum multiple times let's uh, give slash n here to change the line and this time we want to add 100 or 1000 plus 500 in here we want to add 111 and 222 two, two. and in here we want to add 123 and 456 for example and we want to print the sum of uh, all these this this and this run the program and it will give you uh, the sum 110 1500 which is the sum of these two numbers 33 or uh, 333 which is the sum of these two numbers and 596 which is the sum of these two numbers right let me change the slash to backslash because it will just uh, 
change the line like this and run the program once again and now it will change the line 100 trend 1500 333 and 579 which is the addition of first sum second sum third sum and fourth sum like this and you can call your function multiple times now for example you want uh, that user should define these uh, two values uh, at runtime what we can do is we can, can declare two numbers x comma y two integers which are and then we will ask the user to uh, give these two numbers so we will print f uh, and we will write please enter two numbers okay and then slash n to change the line and then we will just say printf printf number one number one and change the line once again and then we will use scanf which we use to take input right so we'll write scan scan f and then in the bracket percentage d percentage d and then comma and then this symbol to take integer this end symbol right and then value of x which will be our first number and in the same way we will pass the second number which is y so print f number two this is number two i'll give it space so we can see it better and the second time we will pass or scan y so x is this one and y is this one we are scanning two numbers and now we will pass these x and y sum as a first argument and second argument for uh, this sum function and what will this do now when we run the program we will run the program first and now the program asks for two numbers so it says please enter two numbers number one so we will give number one for example six four five eight this is the number one and plus press enter and now it says number two so we will give second number one zero two five for example and when we press enter we will see sum is equal to seven four eight three which is the sum of the above two numbers right so in this way we can ask the user to give two numbers and we can make the sum of these two numbers and print it on the screen right so these are called function with argument and arguments is this one argument one argument two and in the same way you can pass any number of argument to a function and you can call your function inside your main program with those arguments right so I hope you have uh, understood the basic concept of functions with arguments or functions with parameter and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment and subscribe and bye for now.